National Women's Equality Day The United States Congress passed the 19th Amendment to the Constitution granting women full and equal voting rights on this day in 1920. Every year on August 26, we commemorate this right with National Women's Equality Day. Birth of a movement While in London at the World Anti-Slavery Convention 1840, several women were denied access to the convention floor planting the seeds for a women's rights movement. Lucretia Mott and Elizabeth Cady Statton, along with Martha Wright, Mary Ann McClintock, and Jane Hunt, set in motion plans for the first Women's Rights Convention in Seneca Falls, New York. Held at Wesleyan Chapel on July 19-20, 1848, the conference drew 200 women the first day. On the second day, the convention opened to men, and some did attend. Resolved, that it is the duty of the women of this country to secure to themselves their sacred right to the elective franchise. Tilda 9th Resolution of the Seneca Falls Convention 1848. During the convention, leaders presented 12 resolutions. They enumerated in the rights that women should be equal to men socially, economically, legally and representatively. Of the resolutions, all but the ninth were approved unanimously. The right to vote created concern. Many women felt it would cause large numbers of their backers to withdraw their support. However, after much debate in the support of abolitionist Frederick Douglass, the ninth resolution also passed. The right to vote women's suffrage began in earnest in the United States then. Another advocate, Susan B. Anthony, joined Stanton in 1869 to create the National Woman Suffrage Association NWSA. Through nearly 10 years of persistence and lobbying, the NWSA introduced an amendment in 1878. Despite years of debate and finally to the floor of Congress in 1886, only to be defeated. When is equal pay day? Ultimately, it would take another 34 years before a new amendment made it to Congress. For several years, advocates continued passing the batons. New states entered the Union. Their constitutions included rights for women that states before them never had, rights to vote. Civil disobedience ensued. Eventually, with women gaining equality, Congress passed the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. How to observe hashtag Women's Equality Day Learn more about the women's civil rights movement in the 19th Amendment. Read about Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony. Delve further into the history and learn about the efforts of advocates in your home state. Study Lucy Stone, Carrie Chapman Catt, or Alice Paul. Use hashtag Women's Equality Day to post on social media. History on July 30, 1971. Representative Bella Abzig DNY presented a bill designating August 26 as Women's Equality Day. That year, rallies, celebrations and political debate filled the country on August 26. By 1973, Congress passed a joint resolution declaring the day to be observed on August 26 of each year. Every year since each president declares this day as Women's Equality Day commemorating the certification of the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and like it, if you are not subscribed before please do it now see you again in another video.